Queen Elizabeth is often greeted by well-wishers wherever she goes, but not everyone is a fan of the royal and her husband Prince Philip. During a visit to New Zealand in 1986, locals' dislike for the monarchy resulted in an alarming incident. The episode came at a time when people in New Zealand were protesting Britain's 146-year-old treaty with New Zealand's Maori tribes. According to Robert Hardman, in his 2018 book Queen of the World, if there is anything to worry about, it was the situation in New Zealand, where the monarch was increasingly seen as fair game for the more extreme elements of the Maori protest movement. The visit to New Zealand lasted nine days, and for the Queen's first public appearance she rode in an open car alongside the Duke of Edinburgh. Two women who were dressed as crowd wardens at the parade proceeded to hurl eggs at the Queen as part of the protest. One egg hit the Queen's coat, an egg yolk trickled down her pink dress. Another egg splattered the car's windshield, reported the Associated Press in 1986. Hartman said the Queen was alarmed by the incident, although she quickly recovered her composure while New Zealand Prime Minister David Lang called the incident deplorable. While the egg pelting was no doubt shocking for both the Queen and Prince Philip, the monarch managed to see the funny side of the episode. She later made a joke that she preferred New Zealand eggs her breakfast, wrote Hartman in his book. Throwing eggs was not the only way the protests manifested themselves during the royal visit. Elsewhere there was the repeated bearing of Maori bottoms and the occasional Go Home Liz banner, said Hardman. As ever, the hosts reacted indignantly to the slightest criticism from members of the British media, some of whom had accused New Zealand of failing to protect the Queen. I don't remember complaining when a man got into her bedroom at Buckingham Palace," an exasperated David Lang told ITN's Trevor McDonald. I wish you would look after her as well as we do in New Zealand. The egg throwing was a far cry from the public's response to the royal pair when Elizabeth and Philip visited Australia in 1954. Australians in Sydney were so excited to spot the dashing Duke of Edinburgh during the 23-mile state procession, some of them could hardly contain themselves, Sarah Bradford said in her book Queen Elizabeth II, Her Life in Our Times. Some of the crowd of 1,200,000 burst through pick barriers, halting the royal car on eight separate occasions, said Bradford. The attention towards the Duke of Edinburgh came from both men and women who were all keen to touch the royal. Ben Pimlet said in his book The Queen, men and women clutched Philip's arm, tried to shake his hand, patted the royal shoulder and tossed confetti and flags in the car. Bradford added, later even Prince Philip was flustered by a crowd of teenagers wolfed whistling and screaming, isn't he nice, he's beautiful, 